All right, guys, all of us want to get sponsored, but maybe you've tried and you cannot seem to get sponsored by anyone. This video is going to help you out. So by the end of this video, you should have kind of a blueprint on how to begin getting sponsored or better your odds of getting sponsored. And you should also have a couple ideas on how to provide value for those companies. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. Look, I don't want to talk. How you try and press the kid and read you was soft. All you know is All right, guys, welcome back to know. another episode of Let's Assess. Today is going to be a little bit different. I am not going to ramble on. I got my Thug Life glasses on for those of you on YouTube. And uh, we're just going to kind of, it's going to be more of a YouTube style talk, if you will. I'm not going to ramble. I'm just going to get right into it. So I actually prepared um, some notes. I want to bring you guys a lot of value in this. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So the mecca of snowmobiling, what you want to be, it seems like for most of us on social media, is you want to get sponsors, you want to get followers, not only to pay for your stuff, but just kind of validate that you actually are a good writer and an influence in the industry. So there's a lot of things to think about. This is all my opinion on how to get sponsored. Um, luckily, I'm sponsored by a handful of companies now. And uh, I'm going to just get to the point on kind of how I did it and what my way of thinking was onto it. Um, and then, like I mentioned in the beginning, stick around. I'm going to give you some actual tips on uh, how to create value um, that you can do to then land your first or your dream sponsorship. So let's just jump right into it. Like I said, I'm going to be reading off my phone because I don't want to ramble in this pod. So um, what is a sponsorship? I just want to start with that. To me, a sponsorship is you working with a brand that you actually like, not just someone that'll throw some product your way, but someone that you actually like, that you can represent them and they can back you, whether that's throwing you product, throwing you money, whatever it is. Um, that's what a sponsorship is to me. A sponsorship really isn't like, hey, I'll give you 5% off if you post my stuff. That's, I mean, you could call that a sponsorship, but I'm talking more of like, they're either giving you the products or they're giving you like significant discounts, like over 50% maybe. That's what I kind of consider a sponsorship. Um, and in the snowball world, guys, obviously, um, I'm not sponsored by everyone, so I'm not an expert. Um, kind of the mecca, it seems like now, is being sponsored by a manufacturer, whether that's Articat, Skidoo, Polaris. But you have to think about it in a way of like, I'm going to work my way up to that point. No one's going to start unless you have a connection in that, like with one of the manufacturers. No one, None of you are going to start with getting sponsored by Polaris. And I don't mean being an ambassador for them getting 10% off sled. I mean like having an OEM deal where they're sending you sleds. That's obviously the dream for all of us. It's like I say, it's like kind of like being in the NFL of snowmobiling. But I think you have to start small. So we're going to talk about smaller brands, kind of how to get your foot in the door with them. So um, I, I want to keep this quick. What I think you guys need to do, at least this is how I think of it, is if you owned your own company, would you want to sponsor yourself? Would you want to throw product at yourself that you could be making money on? Do you want, is it worth your money and time to deal with yourself right now? And what I mean by that is the way I look at it, because I have a business background, is what value are they going to provide for my company? If I throw them bumpers or if I throw them gear, if I throw them a discount or whatever, what are the chances that they're going to bring me business? Because that's the goal of all these companies sponsoring people. For example, Polaris, you know, at the, at the top, like they give Brant sleds. Why do they give Brant sleds? Well, because in their eyes and in my eyes, if I own Polaris too, he has enough reach and he is a good enough writer and a good enough representation of the company that they that he is going to get them ROI, that he's going to be a return on investment for them. Polaris is going to sell more sleds with him riding a you know, one of their sleds. If he went to ski do, a lot of guys would start riding ski do because like growing up. Brant's the man. You listen to what Brant says. You ride what Brant rides. You use the parts that Brant uses because he's the man. And there's a bunch of different guys like that across the industry. But I just think that 
you have to look at it like that. If you were a company, obviously you'd want Brant to have your stuff. But with you personally, if you owned your own company, would you have given yourself stuff? So what I mean by that, let's go, you know, complete polar opposites to illustrate an example. It's like one side, you never post on Instagram. You're a sucky writer. You post like borderline really bad edgy content. Um, no, no snowmobile content. Okay. Take that. And if I owned a company, I wouldn't want to send product to that guy. Or you go to the other end and you say, you got a guy that's posting all the time. He has a lot of followers, which means a lot of engagement, a lot of reach. A lot of people are going to see our product on his snowmobile. You ha- he's a good guy. He's clean. He's posting more content all the time. That's the guy that I would want to sponsor. So that's the way that I look at it. For me, I think the biggest thing is providing value to them in a way that they're going to get their money kind of um, their investment back on you. Most people don't look at it like that. Most people are like, you know, like some of my buddies, not most of my close buddies, but some people reach out and be like, dude, I sent an email to climb and told him how good of a writer I was. But to me, it's like, there's so many good writers out there. What separates you when it comes to getting them sales? The clear answer these days, and I'm going to touch into it as some of the tips later in this talk is social media. Social media seems to be, okay, I got to take these thug life glasses off. Wow. Social media seems to be the avenue to provide value to brands. And it's not just the snow, snowmobile industry, it's almost all industries. An influencer, in quotes, what their job is with these brands is to promote their brand in a positive way to increase sales. And so for some of you guys that have posted three times on social media, you're probably going to have a hard time landing a sponsorship with a company to the caliber that you want it to be, meaning free product or whatever, if you guys do not post on social media. So a lot of you guys ask like, how should I start social or how should I start on social media? How should I, like, I don't know what to post. I don't know how to work a camera. I don't know how to edit. And, and these are the tips I said st- stick around for because hopefully these provide you guys a lot of value. The first thing that you need to do if you're, obviously this is a snowmobile video, start posting snowmobile content. In my opinion, it doesn't matter what it is when you're, when you're starting. Looking back at my old content on Instagram, it was, it was garbage, honestly, but I learned from it and just started going and going and going. And now my content's gotten a lot better. And in a couple years, it's going to be even better than it is now. It's just a learning curve. The point is, is if you don't start though, you're never going to get to that next level. So quit having analysis paralysis and just start posting. Um, You don't need a camera. I had an old GoPro and a phone for the first like year or two that I was doing social media and, and there's guys that have millions and millions of followers, not really in the snowmobile industry, but across the platform of Instagram that all they have is their phone. So don't let that be an excuse. Start with your phone. Um, start posting. It can be writing tips. It could be, you know, cinematic edits of you writing. It could be um, shop talks. It could be podcast clips. It could be anything that you want it to be that you're passionate about and start gaining or start trying to learn how to gain a following. Um, I've been blessed by a lot of you guys. We're starting to get a little bit of traction on Instagram. Um, We're almost at 16K now, which I never thought we'd get to. Obviously, that's not a ton of followers, but I'm proud of it because I was ecstatic when we got to 500 followers. So, Um, But the point is, is just keep trying things. Keep trying things. Go and study Instagram and see what works. Um, but I think that's where you need to start. That is the way in the snowmobile industry when it comes to backcountry riding on how to land sponsorships. Obviously, if you're a racer or something like that, you winning races is probably the best way to get sponsored and social media. But 
for us backcountry guys, there's not really a stadium full of people and bright lights when we're riding. It's kind of what we can show online is what people see of our sport. So it's super important to be capturing what you're doing in the backcountry um, and posting it to social media. YouTube's another great avenue, TikTok, whatever you want. I'm, I try to focus on Instagram and now we're kind of leaning more towards YouTube with videos like this. But um, I think that in a nutshell, you need to provide value. You need to figure out how you are going to provide value to that brand and not how they're going to help you. They don't need to help you. They're looking for people that will promote their brand in a positive way in the message that they want and get it out to as many people as possible. That's what they're looking for. That's why all the dudes with a ton of followers, they get sponsored is because they can provide the most value for those companies. So that's kind of the biggest thing. And that seems simple to most people, but it's like some of these guys that I, the reach out on like DMS, it's just like, yo, I told climb that I'm so good and I can do a re-entry, but like they won't sponsor me any tips. It's like, bro, like how many people can do re-entries now? Like a ton. So they don't want a good rider. They have the best riders in the world on their team. Same with 509, same with all the big brands. Like you have to show them that you're going to provide value some way. And a lot of it, unfortunately, it seems crazy, but it's through followers on social media. And people are like, who cares about social media? Yeah, if you want to just go out and ride, that's totally fine. But don't expect to get sponsored if you can't represent the brand. Um, so again, I just want to lay this out for you. Start social media create a page, whether it's under your personal name, like ours is Cook Bros, me and my brother and a couple buddies. If you just start the page right now when you get off this video, or if you're listening to this on Spotify or whatever, start the page, go out to your snowmobile and take a picture of it or go see a picture on your camera roll that you've already taken, post it, tag a few friends in the picture say can't wait for snowmobile season and share it on your story have your friends share it talk about your page and be passionate about it that is what your actionable tip from this video is going to be are you going to gain 50 followers off that probably not but you just got a tiny tiny bit of momentum that then tomorrow at work or tomorrow in school or tomorrow whatever you're doing tomorrow then you can think about what do i want to post next do I want to go shoot a walk around video in my snowmobile? Do I want to tell people what I ride? Do I want to give avalanche tips? Whatever you want to do, just start doing it. And that will lead to sponsorships. If you have no followers, if you're not posting on Instagram, unless you're just the best rider in the world, of course, in backcountry riding, you could be the best rider in the world and no one knows if you don't post. So that would be my first tip. Start your page. Go take a picture of your snowmobile or find a picture in your camera roll as snowmobilers you probably have a million and post. Try to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then if you can do that, post Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And start growing a following, start creating content, and fall in love with the process. That will get you sponsored. You have to look at down the, you know, you have to start here to get to your end result. You can't want to be here without, you know, you can't be at the top being sponsored without doing the things that sponsors want you to do. So I'm going to quit ranting. I still ranted. Gosh, dang it. I'm a ranter. But those are my tips. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Follow us on Cook Bros on Instagram. Um, we're posting almost every day on there. Winter's ramping up. We'll get some crazy content out to you guys. And uh, until next time, appreciate you watching. Post, 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 and figure out how you can provide value to the brands that you want sponsored by. All right, love you guys. Hopefully that helped. Peace.